Hi everybody, I'm Grace. Today I'm going to take you through a tutorial covering breathing and the core stabilizing muscles we're going to use during the next 28 days. Breathing is an integral part of life, of course, um, and especially during movement. There's no right or wrong way to breathe, but we are going to use a particular type of breathing during our workouts, which is um, aligned with the Pilates method. So let's start with the breathing. We'll move on to the core stabilizing muscles. So find a comfortable seat, and all I'd like you to do is bring your fingertips together over your rib cage. Okay, so making sure those fingertips are touching at the moment. I'd like you to start to breathe in and out and become aware of your breathing and where your rib cage is going. So some of you may feel the rib cage coming forward and backwards or up and down, side to side, or maybe all of those. What I'd like you to try and do is specifically send the ribs sideways. So if I show you now, I'm going to inhale. And you should be able to see there's a little space now between my fingertips. As I exhale, my fingertips join back together again. So at a very basic level, this is the direction we would like our ribs to move laterally. Breathing in, expanding sideways, breathing out, drawing the ribs together. So this is called lateral thoracic breathing. You could also think about your ribs expanding backwards, so sideways and backwards rather than forwards and upwards. Just taking a few more breaths like that, using that tactile feedback of the fingertips parting and then the fingertips drawing together. So the breath is really important because it gives this rhythm to the movement, which creates a nice meditative, meditative type feel. The second reason is that certain types of breath, so an inhale or versus an exhale, helps encourage the spine and the body to move a certain way, which we'll touch on in a moment when we get moving. The third reason leads us onto our core stabilizing exercises. So the use of breath is really going to encourage certain muscles to be recruited. So before we link the two together, let's talk about engaging First of all, our abdominals, which kind of usually get the main credit for core work, and they are a huge part. So let's start there, coming onto all fours, setting the hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and find that neutral position that Annie covered in the other tutorial. So without moving any of the bones of your spine or pelvis, I'd just like you to let your belly completely hang out feeling like your belly button's being drawn to the mat. So it's not arching and moving the bones, it's just simply relaxing the musculature of the abdominals. And then what I'd like you to do from here is try and feel like you're drawing your belly button up to your spine and hopefully you can see a change in my waistline. So I completely relax my abdominals. They drop down towards the mat. And then I engage my abdominals and they lift up towards my spine. Let's do a few more of those so you can feel the difference. You can use gravity to let those abdominals relax and then working against gravity to lift them up and engage. One more like that, completely relax and then connect. Holding that connection now, start that lateral thoracic breathing. So feeling as you inhale, your ribs widen like wings and then as you exhale, blow every single last breath, uh, last drop of air out of your lungs. And hopefully at the last moment of that breath, where it's quite forceful, pushing the air out of the lungs, you feel an even tighter cinching in at the waist, like a corset. And then continue to breathe that way, inhale and exhale, trying not to let that dropping and lifting of the abdominals happening, trying to keep that gentle scoop and drawing up of the abdominal wall. One more deep breath here, inhale, expanding the ribs sideways. Exhale, knitting the ribs together, feeling a deeper contraction in the abdominals. And so hopefully you're doing all of that without the spine actually moving. So there's no movement in the bones, it's just purely the abdominals. What we've engaged there is the transverse abdominus, which is like a corset that wraps all the way around the sides and the front of the body. Really important spinal stabilizer. 
The other core muscle that I'm going to um, use by name is a muscle called the multifidus. So if you join me now resting down onto your front, making a little cushion for your forehead with your hands, do that same exercise that you've just done on all fours, let your abdominals sink into the mat, and then try and pick the abdominals up away from the mat so you feel the support coming from the front, you've engaged the abdominals from the front, and then keeping that engagement, tell your back without moving again, no movement in the bones yet, tell your spine that you're about to lift into this massive back bend. And just that mind connection of telling your spine, okay, we're getting ready to move, you should hopefully feel a bracing all the way down your back, and you've got that bracing of the abdominals in the front. What we've engaged there is muscle called the multifidus, which is another really important core stabilizer, spinal stabilizer. So now we're bracing from the front and the back. Start to connect with that lateral thoracic breath again. Inhale, expanding the ribs sideways. Exhaling to feel the ribs knit together. So going back to what I was saying about the breath helping certain movements. On your next inhale, what I'd like you to do, keeping the arms down, is start to raise your head maybe your chest off the mat. And because the inhale is happening, it's making you levitate off, lifting up. As the exhale happens, we pull the body back down again. So inhale is naturally encouraging a movement into spinal extension. And an exhale is naturally bringing the spine to neutral. One more inhale, feeling like you're lifting, you're light, the lungs are filling with air. Exhale as you lower. Good. In opposition to that, the exhale is going to encourage spinal flexion. So join me to lie onto your back now. Again, setting up that neutral pelvic and spinal alignment that Annie covered. Feet flat on the floor, knees and ankles hip distance apart. Link the fingers and bring the hands to the back of the head. Without your pelvis moving, find that deep wide breath in. As the exhale happens, feel the flattening of the abdominals without moving the spine. And then as you exhale, feel how the ribs sliding down towards your hips helps encourage this spinal flexion. As the inhale happens, we reverse that down back to neutral. Exhale, the ribs slide to the hips. You've got that gentle feeling of drawing and scooping the abdominal wall in. Inhale as you lower. Hopefully you can see there's no change in the bones from my waist down. The exhale is happening from underneath the sternum. Or the movement, sorry, is happening from underneath the sternum. Inhale as we come down. Just doing one more exhale. Flattening, drawing up. And we've introduced another abdominal muscle here, or three more, the internal, the external obliques, and the rectus abdominis down the middle. Again, all really important stabilizers for your spine, and also moving muscles. They help rotate and flex the spine as well. One more thing, let's bring the heels of the hands to your hip bones, find them there. Rest your fingertips onto your pubic bone, so you can really feel the pelvis underneath you. You're in neutral. You take an inhale, wide breath, as the exhale happens, don't move any bones, but feel that drawing down of the abdominal wall. Without any movement happening underneath your hands, pick one leg up to tabletop as you breathe out. Knee over hip, shin parallel to the floor. As you inhale, rest that foot down. Same thing other side, as you exhale, no movement in the pelvis, pick one leg up. Inhale as you go down. So we're keeping that engagement of the abdominals. We're connecting the movement with the breath, the abdominals with the breath. And there's no change in the posture. We're stabilizing the spine. The next lift of the leg, hold it up there. Move your hands further up onto your um, abdominals. Take a deep breath in. Feel as the exhale, the abdominals pull away from your hands and pick the other leg up. No change under your hands. Now if you felt on that moment that the abdominals kind of billowed out and maybe even the spine arched, I want you to stay with that single leg work. If not, you're going to hold both legs up. Deep wide breaths, feeling the abdominals pull in underneath your hands. Encouraging that lateral thoracic, that sideways breath. And then set one foot at a time all the way down onto the mat. Okay, 
So that's just a very brief and basic tutorial on the style of breathing we're going to be using in the workouts and really important for the safety, the muscles that you're going to have to use to stabilize. So if you do feel that you're a little unstable, the spine is moving, the pelvis is moving a lot during the workout, listen up for the modifications that we're going to be giving. Keep the workout safe and just listen to your own body. Thank you so much.